Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy is here bringing you guys a Cinemordy tutorial, and this is on modeling a screw. Um, you know, objects that can be used as add-on effects is really cool, so I'm going to show you guys the screw model. And it's real simple, You can uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make it from scratch, so you can customize it yourself, along with you just want to download the screw in the bottom of the description. I uh, can do that. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. It's really simple, really quick. So if we, uh, not really quick, but you know, it's quick enough. So if we go to our solid shapes and go to cylinder, uh, remember this is all preference. So if you don't want it to be, you know, really skinny, you can just keep the radius as whatever you want it to be. But for me, I'm going to change it to 12, and I'm going to change my height from 200 to about 125. And uh, this will give us the, you know, the base of our screw. And we're going to do the top of the screw now, so we're going to go back to the solid shapes, and we're going to go to oil tank. And you want to change your oil tank's radius from 100 to about, you know, 30. So if we change it to about 30, make sure you, oops, shoot, I didn't mean to do that. So if you change it to 30, make sure you guys know that if your cylinder is thicker, you got to change your radius also a little bit more. So yeah, you can just go by it by 10s or whatever, I don't know. So you want to change your height to about 20, so you have your radius at 30, your height to about 20. And you want to change your cap height from whatever it is to 6. And this will give it the nice top, like, like screw-like shape at the top. So yeah, you can just, uh, what you need to do now is, uh, you know, hold this blue, this green arrow and just drag it up a little bit so there's a little bit of space between the cylinder and the oil tank, like so, like I have it here. So what you want to do is we're going to connect the two. So we're going to connect these two so it actually looks like a better, like, uh, like looks connected. Like a really good way of connecting it just so, you, you know, you don't want to just drag the cylinder on the top and just be like, all right, cool, I'm done. Uh, no. You want to do it right and you want to make it look good. So we're going to give it a nice, like, curve shape right here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, control click on both of these. We're going to right click, make editable, or press C on your keyboard for the shortcut. And we're going to go to uh, the poly tab right here. And this will, you know, allow us to select these little blue regions here. And uh, if you press UL on your keyboard for the shortcut for the loop selection, this will allow us to select uh, more than one region, uh, kind of just loop selection, exactly what it says. So what you want to do now is you want to go zoom into your camera and just, uh, just make sure you can see the top of your cylinder, and make sure you have the loop selection enabled so you can actually click the click this once. And then just once you click this, uh, while it's all highlighted in yellow and stuff, just press delete on your keyboard. It will delete the top of our cylinder like so. And then you want to go to your oil tank, the bottom of your oil tank, and then you want to select the first four little regions here. So this first one, the middle one, and then hold shift and then select the next three. So one, two, three. Oops, three. And then there you guys have it. You have the four, you know, sections selected. And then you just want to delete that. And then you're good. So now it becomes to connecting it. So we're going to go to the little point selection over here. And I still have my UL selected or, or my loop selection tool still enabled. And then if you just select the top radius of your cylinder like this, and you press control A, this will select all the points on your uh, object, so we're gonna have to optimize it. So you see these little like floating little dots here; it's gonna mess you up. So you want to go ahead and just right-click, optimize, and then it'll get rid of that. So now what you want to do is you want to select the top cylinder or your top uh, little ring on the cylinder, and then your bottom ring on the oil tank, like so. Just hold Shift and you'll select both of them, and then you want to right-click, stitch, and sew. And when you do that, you can just select uh, one point. Let's just say if I select this point, it's facing me, <clears throat> and then you just want to like. Uh, click and then drag and this is the little like tip thing if this happens to you like this that means you just have to move it uh, move it over one more or if that doesn't happen just move over one more again and then soon enough it should work so this is four away from it and it should work like so and it will connect it and make it look really nice so give it a nice uh, like a nice feel of it I don't know it just looks more like a uh, screw so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the bottom of our uh, cylinder a little nice point here so you're gonna have the point selection still enabled and you wanna have your movement tool enabled now and you want to select on the cylinder, and you want to select, uh, click the cylinder, zoom in, and go to the bottom of it. And then there's going to be a little point in the middle. You just want to select that, and you want to take your green arrow and just drag it down, and it'll give it the point. So there we go. <clears throat> there's the point. Now we're all set, and we're actually ready to do the little spiral on this, the uh, screw. And what you want to do is you just want to clean up your Cinema 4D. You can control click these, and then right click, control, uh, connect, connect objects plus delete. And you can name it whatever you want, the screw base or whatever, or screw skeleton, whatever. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start the uh, spiral stuff now. So you just want to go to your spline tab, and you want to go to helix. You want to select your helix, change your plane from XY to XZ. And you want to change these settings to what I'm going to have now. So I'm going to change my start radius to 6. Uh, I mean, my uh, start radius, yeah, start radius to 6. You want to keep your start angle 0. And you want to change your end radius to about uh, 10. And then change your, uh, your end angle to about 5,000 your bias from 50 to about 100 and those, this will give it that nice you know spiral look right here you can see and then your height is all you know preference to how high you had your you know your 
cylinder here, so I'm just going to drag it down, the helix, and I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom so I can see how it just connects or ends right here to the point. And I'm going to go up, scroll to the top, and then I'm just going to lower my radius till these little spirals get out of the way, along with lowering it a little bit more so I can have the like uh, little the cross in the middle here. So I'm just going to lower it to about 125. Is that good enough? Let me check. Um, yeah, it looks good enough. So now, uh, once you're done with that, you want to go back to your spline tab and go to uh, four side. You want to select your four side, and you want to change your A and B to 10 and 5. This will give it that, uh, oops, I changed it to 10,000 or 100,000 or 1,000. Jeez, I can't. All right, 10 and 5. There we go. Once you have that, you want to go to your sweep nerves. And you want to go to, uh, or you want to go to your nerves tab and go to sleep nerves. You want to control click on both of these and then drag these both into your sleep nerves. And uh, there we go. You can see like the spline is coming in handy. Uh, the height needs to go a little bit more farther up. And there we go. And you can actually see how the you know, sp the you know the spiral looks really weird right now because it's at, like more of a, a circular shape. So what you want to do is you want to click on the sleep nerves and then uh, make sure you have the banking unchecked. This will give it that more sharper you know spiral like it has on the screw. And uh, there you guys go. We're done with that. So the next part is making that really quick. Oops, I gotta drag this up just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And uh, the next part, like I said, is making the cross on the top. Now this is why I said you can be a little bit more original and take like a clan logo or whatever render you're doing, and you can actually use that as a top of your screw. Uh, it's just an AI. You're gonna go in Photoshop, just make a cross or something, or use a clan AI if you're making a render. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to Control Shift O, and you can you can download this in the description if you don't have the AI or Photoshop. Uh, this is just a regular old cross like a you know bolded cross like I have right here you can see that's the top of our uh, screw so I'm just gonna select the screw I'm gonna go to coordinates and just change this all to zero so it actually goes in the middle and uh, once I do that I can just click on the screw I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees so I'm gonna go back to my little rotation tool right here and just rotate it 90 degrees uh, that's close enough and uh, once you do that you want to go to your, uh, your nerves tab and go to extrude nerves you want to drag your screw AI or whatever you're using or your clan AI or whatever if you want to be creative and drag it into your extrude nerves and then you just want to go to object and then make sure you have that at 20 and then we can just lower this uh, once we lower this we are gonna have to change the movement again so I'm just gonna lower it and I'm gonna actually drag it up so I can see what it looks like at the top so we're gonna have a nice you know a nice size so I'm just gonna go up make sure I rotate and see that what I have I'm just gonna uh, shrink it more uh, maybe a little bit more how's that I guess that's fine so once you have that you want to go back to your extrude nerves tab and then make sure this is at zero. Uh, this next one is at zero, and the next one's at about twenty. Uh, once you have that, oops, why is why are you looking weird? Why are you looking weird? Oh, I had it on the move. Oh, there we go. I got to change it to this, and then change it to twenty. Uh, I'm lost. Who? Why you no work? Okay. How about I change this to 20 and this to 0? Yeah, there we go. That's what I got. You got to change your movement to 20 and then this one to 0. My bad. And once you do that, you can just lower this a little bit more farther down so it gets inside the top of the screw. And then you want to go to your array tab and go to boil or I don't know how to say that word. And you want to take your screw base and then your what you just made, the uh, little cross thing, and drag it into this. And then make sure your screw base is at the top and your extrude nerves is at the bottom. And this will give it that indention at the top. And there's your screw, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I messed up a little bit there, but my bad. Hopefully you guys still follow along and uh, be creative with your new screw. You can just you know connect the objects or just group it up together, and it'll, you can just rotate your screw like so. And it's really simple, really cool. Like I said, you can use this nice add-on effect for your renders, along with you can customize it because you know how to make it now. And they can actually put a clan logo here or whatever. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, tutorial on how to model a screw. And hopefully you guys enjoy my next videos and previous videos. So I'll see you guys later. So switch you out. Peace.